one day this will be a choice rather than a compulsion to sit down in front of a camera and capture something artistic maybe or with intention something that that has a place in some larger intended message or story or theme but for now I am relegated to this compulsion when I'm feeling mentally in crisis, maybe exhausted, yet at the same time expectant of myself to be present in a way that I seem to avoid. This space that I inhabit sometimes, it's not, it's not mine. It is a space that I step into and I know other people are feeling this, this kind of crisis where you feel like your insides are being torn apart by themselves where your you know your your rampant brain is grasping at what what's wrong with you maybe i think i'm compelled to capture it to sit down and shoot a stupid video because it speaks to me or something. My internal voices badgering me with the idea that I lack the adequacy to be human or to be the human I ought to be. The voice that usually states alongside that just maybe maybe calling for a genuineness from myself and knowing that in response to that previous statement made in order to be a good person or something and I'm not even speak although I am speaking of morally good I am also speaking of like capable functioning I have expectations for myself to be creative Whatever, whatever it is, the genuineness by default is stripped, is an, is an opportunity that is stripped from me because of my awareness of my inadequacy. And in response to this awareness, to attempt to be that all-encompassing good that I described just a second ago means that I am not operating from a place of deep desire, maybe a tangential desire, a desire to be seen as a good person, I don't think that's entirely true, but I do think that is a fragment of it, possibly. 
especially when I turn on the goddamn camera and in the back of my mind think, oh, how am I going to share this? <laughs> this is a, that's a bit of a tangential thought, but the genuine nature of participating in humanity is stripped from me when I am seemingly aware of my incapabilities, inadequacies, whatever you want to call it. Incapabilities is fucking harsh. Now that I say that out loud. And I don't know if that even fully describes what I'm feeling. I think that could be too harsh. I don't think that actually, I think the tragedy of it is that I feel both capable and incapable of participating in humanity in the way that I have perceptively gathered to be best. And I sit alone in my room, 22, you know, living with my folks by their very gracious providence. Is that the right word? I don't know. I sit my ass in this chair in the middle of my room in the dark while the fan is running to my right, which I just turned off, and the sound soother is out in the hallway, and my family sleeps soundly, I pray. I, I step out of a daze and sit down and look at my hands and just wonder who am I? Who's at the wheel? And what am I doing with my life? What what is true? How can I how can I have the gall to to believe in anything, I guess? Great video.